Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? I am Mr. Headquarters. For you that do not know already, but today, man, I got these class setups set up that I'm going to go over and let you know. Since we had that patch come up 1.04, I want to give you guys the best class setups that I've been using to maybe help you increase your KD and make you better at the game and not want to go rage and throw your controller. So, for let's go ahead and get started off with my class number one I got set up. These are in no particular order, but I will at the end tell you what my favorite gun is and what my favorite class is. So, my class number one is the ICR. If that is not any kind of surprise to anybody, the ICR is dominating in the game with the double grip attached to it and the long barrel and the reflex. Man, you cannot go wrong. And the acoustic sensor with the engineer gun hole, and you got to run dead silence. With all you that do not know, dead silence helps to counteract the acoustic sensor. And the acoustic sensor, when you're running, it gives you the uh, sixth sense so you can see your enemies once you approach them. The gun hole allows you to go ahead and reload while you're running, sprinting, and also as you to uh, go ahead and have like a quick draw without having to run quick draw. And the long barrel just allows you to go ahead and shoot these enemies from across the map and drop your time to kill down significantly. So you must run the double grip because it actually makes it a laser beam. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to the other class I got set up. This right here is the Maddox, okay? Right at the jump, the Maddox was top notch, the best assault rifle in the game. And they did not hardly touch it in this essence of, you know, any kind of time to kill in this patch note. So it is still a pretty good deadly gun. And, you know, I run the ELO, even though they did add the recoil to the ELO reflex, I believe that it did not hurt it any bit. I mean, I don't know, they did not specify what kind of you know, addition that they added to it, but you cannot really tell at all while running this gun. Okay, then you gotta have stock. Anytime the stock is available, you must run stock, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know when you're swaying and strafing back and forth, you need that stock, okay? So the fast mags, we gotta run them because anytime that you're, you know, time to kill, you're gonna be going through the bullets. So you're gonna wanna be able to throw that fast mag in and get your loaded out just so you can get back into the gunfight. And we also run quick draw just so you can compete with SMGs because they did buff the F uh, the SMGs so that, that they can, you know, kind of compete with the assault rifle. So if you ever come up onto a encounter with a SMG, they're probably gonna have the draw on you. So you wanna make sure you got that draw to counteract with them. And then once again, we're running the acoustic sensor just so we can have that sixth sense ability. Engineer, I love to run engineer just because if I run a care package as one of my score streaks, I can always change it to get maybe a higher tier score streak or if I feel like gambling and I got a lightning strike or a thresher, I can try to maybe get my troops or I might can get a gunship. I mean, I have gotten lucky and I've also got a lot of UAVs in this situation, but it's a price you got to pay and a gamble you got to take. Then we're running gun hole and dead silence. Just like I said before, you know, the running while you're reloading and the dead silence to counteract anybody that is running acoustic. And so you can actually quieten your steps down so you can hear the enemy footsteps. So let's jump on over to the uh, custom three. We got the Vapor. Okay, we're running the ELO double stock and the long barrel. All right, the double stock is going to allow you to even strafe back and forth even faster. Okay, and the stock two also comes with maximizing movement speed while aiming, maintaining aim when jumping, landing, moving while prone. That's why we're running stock two because it's almost like you have a dexterity attached to your gun. Because once you're jumping and landing, you wanna you wanna make sure that your 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 reflex and everything is staying on point, and you wanna make sure that your you know all your hits are hitting. Because I mean, at the time of the kill in this game, you really need to make sure everything counts. Okay, and this is more of one of my Russian classes, so I'm actually running a stem shot, just so whenever I'm in the middle of the fight, I can keep going. And I also run scavenger on this, being that it's a Russian class, I'm not being real tactical, set back. So I wanna be able to end the fight, in the game and actually try to gain ammo while in the process because sometimes I do run crash, so I do not have to run scavenger, but I don't have time to drop a bag down when you're in firing range, running around corners. You wanna be able to jump in, get in the game, and attack your enemy. We're running gun hold just for the same thing so I can get my reloads faster, and I can run away from them and reload while I'm doing so. Of course, dead silence for anybody that's running acoustic sensor. We can counteract that, and also so that we don't hear our own footsteps. All right, let's jump on over to our class four, the Augur DMR. I do not have this leveled up, so currently the classes setups that I'm running here 
is probably not the best, but it's what I have to work with. And I'll tell you this gun right here, once you get the operator mod, I've seen it has been crazy good. So I suggest going ahead and running this and get the operator mod on because it can be a one burst kill. If you get a shot to the head and a shot to the body, you can absolutely dominate people in core. So right now in this class, all I have is the reflex, long barrel, high cow, and FMJ. But once I get it leveled up, I'm gonna actually run the um, high caliber two just so my headshot range goes from the chest up. That way, whenever I do shoot somebody that I get the one body shot and the headshot that I can kill them. On top of, I will run the double tap operator mod. And if I can, I'll run the long barrel just so I can also have that range attached to me so I can kill my enemies and get my time to kill down as low as possible. With the gear, I'm running the acoustic sensor, uh, engineer, gun ho, and dead silence. Just like I said, same thing on the perks with those, engineer, gun ho, and dead silence. So let's hop over to my next class, which is gonna be the LMG Hades. Guys, do not sleep on this gun. This gun right here is absolutely crazy. I'm running the reflex, steady grip, rapid fire, and hybrid mags, okay? You want the hybrid mags just so these LMGs are so slow to reload. When you're in the fights, you wanna be able to reload and get back in and without somebody sneaking up onto you and shooting you, catching you in the middle of your reload. Okay, you use rapid fire and steady grip because the rapid fire is going to add additional recoil. That steady grip is just going to help maintain some of that recoil for you so you can actually beam your uh, guys across the map. And, you know, the reflex, which a lot of these guns here do not have a good, you know, standard, you know, line of sight. So the reflex is actually going to be a good tech to always use on most of these guns. And I'm running with it. I am running the cosmetic device just because whenever I'm running this, I can get my score streaks faster and I'm playing more tactical. So I'm running Engineer, Gun Ho, and Dead Silence for my perks. Once again, I'm not going to go over why I'm using those three, but that is what I'm using on that gun there. Okay, now, now without further ado, the Titan. Okay, the Titan, I am running the extended mags one and two just so I have the extra ammunition so I do not have to try to reload. I can probably pretty much go. I mean, on a fantastic score streak without even dying, I run the stock and the quick draw because the LMG is crazy insane slow to pull up. So you want to make sure you put quick draw on when it is available and also stock just for the strafing. And without that, I'm running the acoustic sensor as my gear, gung-ho and dead silence just because whenever I'm running, I want to be able to reload if I have to to get away from, a, you know, interact with a, you know, a guy in the map. And the dead silence just so I don't hear my footsteps. And with acoustic sensor, it also brings their footsteps louder so I can hear them and not mine. Okay, guys? But if you do not already know, man, this fantastic gameplay I got playing in the background is with the Vapor. And to me, the Vapor is by far the best gun, in my opinion. Now, there's a many different guns in here that you can, you know, play to your ability. And different people have different ways of playing. And different guns work different from everybody. But for me... The Vapor is my go-to gun, and I seem to always come out with a good positive KD when I run that gun. And, I mean, I just like it. I mean, and I grinded Diamond Camo at it, and I just could not wait to get back on there and grind it. But, I mean, go ahead and try that Vapor out, see how you like it, and try all these other classes, because with that patch note coming out, and changing all these guns, you know, you really want to try to stay up to date with every change that they have in the, in the game, and really try to dictate how your play style is. I mean, you can run... The stem shot if you're on a rushing class. Uh, you can run the body armor if you really, I mean, it's just gonna give you one extra shot from dying, but it could save your life. And you know, you can also, if you wanna be mean, you know, run the Ajax and nine bang everybody with the equipment charge gear so you get the nine bang more. Run around and, you know, play in objectives, OBJs. You can get your nine bang and throw it on the OBJs and always try to get kills off of it and protect that and get the wins. I mean, that's the only way, only way I'd see you'd wanna use that. But my go-tos really are the stem shot, cosmetic device, and acoustic sensor. If I feel like I really want to knock down some, you know, score streaks and just really just get my KD way up, I can run that cosmetic device, drop my care package back there in the back, double tap the square button, and I can probably try to get my, uh, the troops, or I can get the gunship and the uh, attack deploy beacon, or uh, the Manus, man. The Manus will actually go off pretty good, but... Guys, that is all I have right now for my class setups. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have not already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and follow me. But for right now, I'm going to ahead and jump over and bring y'all into me, man. Prestiging for the fourth time, and I'm currently almost at my fifth prestige. We are level 44 in the fourth prestige already, grinding to the fifth prestige. 
All right, if you have not already, like I said, hit that subscribe button and follow my community. It's Mr. Headquarters on PS4. When I go live, you can play with me, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this fourth prestige, guys, and stay tuned for my fifth prestige coming soon. Y'all have a fantastic day. Peace. Check it out, we are right here, man. We have reached the third prestige. Now we're fixing to lock in, baby. Right here. We're gonna go into the fourth prestige, baby. Let's go ahead and unlock this, man. Get it going. Let's prestige this bad boy. All right, start level one, having a, gained a bit of prestige. You will keep all your progress as made towards the weapon levels, challenges, and customization. In exchange, you'll receive a calling card, along with a token that allows you to permanently unlock an any item that requires a level of progression. All right, so here we are right there. We got the, uh, look like the knight dodging some arrows at the level prestige four calling card. And of course, you know, we get the extra custom slot with the permanent unlock token and the new prestige four icon, man. Let's go ahead and unlock it, man, just so we can look like we're a sweat in the lobbies. I do not know exactly what I want to use my unlock token on because, I mean, like I said, all the guns that in the game I already use I mean, they're pretty much low levels, and I've already used unlock tokens on them. So I'm not going to use this unlock token at this present time to unlock on anything. So that's going to wrap up this short little video just showing you, man, my fourth progression into the prestige, man. If you have not already, hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button, man. I'm on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. So make sure you follow me on all platforms, man. Join the lobby and also join my community right here, Mr. Headquarters. So whenever I go live, all you got to do is come in. Join the lobby, man, and play with me. I play with my boys, Nick, Neon, and uh, Legend every now and then. So make sure you join this community right here. Just Mr. Headquarters. Cannot miss me. So join it up, man. Come play with me. But I got to get out of here because it's time to grind to Master Prestige, baby. All the way I stream anywhere from 6 to 7 o'clock Central Standard Time all the way up to 10 o'clock. And when I'm off, I try to stream pretty much all day. So... Come back and see me, man. Give a shout out, man. Let me know what you want me to make a video on, and I'll try to get that out to you. But I got to get out and grind some more gameplay, man. Get out of here, man. Y'all have a fantastic day. Peace.